Hi everybody, welcome back. So look at this beauty. This is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB in the Damier Abin print. And as I mentioned in a previous video, I recently purchased this bag. Um, it is something that I had wanted for quite some time, but was just kind of lagging on making a decision if it was something I was going to purchase pre-loved or brand new at the store. I was able to purchase this little guy brand new and I'm so happy I did. All the um, features on it are just brand new and they are stunning. I love how the gold, like even with this little keychain, the gold hardware on the bag, it just really complements the dark brown. Um, I'm going to go through and I'll show you guys what the bag looks like and also what fits in here. So the, the Alma does come in other sizes. This is just the BB size. I would say it's probably the equivalent to maybe like a toiletry, 26, maybe a little bit more. So it comes with this strap. It's not adjustable. It's pretty much just this long piece of material. And it has like these tiny little clasps on the ends. I haven't worn it with the clasps crossbody. I actually have taken it out twice so far and it was to dinner. And so I just held it on the crook of my arm or in my hand. There's this really beautiful Etsy shop that sells the handles that are Damier a bean print. And I'm considering maybe purchasing that um, and trying it out. So I haven't ordered an insert for this bag. I was also debating that. You can see the inside is that really pretty cherry red color. And I think up against the Damier bean, it is just gorgeous. It has this little pocket here on the side. It's pretty small. Like you can probably fit, <clears throat> excuse me, a debit card or your ID. Um, aside from um, what you see here, it didn't come with a little lock. Just like the Speedies, the Almas have these double zippers that can essentially be locked together. And I'm thinking I might just put it on here, but as decor. I don't really intend to lock up the zippers or anything like that, but it's really pretty to have a little lock. And because it is new, it's not tarnished or anything, it's nice and shiny. So let me show you some more about this. Now, right now, I'm in my GM Neverfull. So, obviously, the GM Neverfull has lots and lots of things inside of it. So, I'll pull out a couple things to just kind of give you an idea of what would fit in the Alma BB. And maybe how I would use it and how I have used it when I have taken it out. So, like, the Alma BB, I mean, if I was to go out with this bag and my kids are with me I'm going to have to carry a separate bag or pouch with diapering things or things that they may need and only carry mom's essentials in my purse um, sunglasses are probably not going to fit in the bag um, I recently got these Gucci's and I linked them in another video the video before this one is on my Neverfull GM, and I just love these glasses. I think they are going to be perfect for the fall and for the holiday season. They have that gold emblem on them, and it's just so pretty. So if you're interested in these, I purchased them on a Facebook group. I'll link that group below. But look, so this is just to give you an idea of sunglasses in there. They take up a lot of space. Um, this is the toiletry 15. I do own all the toiletries. I had purchased them all pre-loved off of Facebook groups. And so in here right now, I just have some basic essentials like a body wipe. Uh, you know, you can use this anywhere. I have a liner, some lip products. And so this little guy is pretty stuffed. This is my uh, Dior Balm. 
you know, contact solution, just some basic things. I can probably pull some of this stuff out. Um, I don't necessarily have to have it in the toiletry pouch to put in the purse. It's just the way I have it set up right now. Usually I like to put the hand sanitizer in here so it doesn't have to touch any part of the inside lining of the bags. I always get scared of hand sanitizer spilling in there and drying everything out. But look, like this is going to be, it'll go in, like it'll fit in there. It's just going to be a little snug. But realistically, like this may be things that you need to carry in here for yourself if you're not a mom. Now, my agenda is not going to fit in there. So, I mean, this Rosalie would probably fit in there as well. Or if I'm going to take this planner, I would use it as a wallet and put my cards in there. This is my key pouch. Key pouch, mm, let's see. It would probably just have to sit right on top like that at the very, very top. It'll still zip. And this hand lotion, I mean, hand lotion right now because it's so dry is definitely something that I would need. And I love this one because even if it's in there loose, you can see it has like this little plastic rubber stopper on the top. So you really have to like put some pressure and squeeze this for it to actually let the lotion out, which is kind of a nice protection. It makes me not so scared to carry it. So I'll just slide it in there. It is standing upright. Hand sanitizer, hmm. Like if you're going to an amusement park and you know it's something you need, I would say just put it in the little po pocket maybe, or maybe put it, um, like if you're really scared like I am, maybe put it in a separate pouch. In this case, I'm probably not going to be taking it with me. But if I had like a little card holder, just a simple, simple card holder, um, I can put my cards in that and then just put this standing up in the little pouch right there. See, it would fit. That's why I like this hand sanitizer because it's nice and flat. Now the Rosa Lee would be really snug in here. Could it fit? Probably. I can probably press it in there and make it fit. But the Alma BB is more narrow on the top than it is on the bottom. It's almost like the um, makeup pouches, if you have any of those, where it starts out with a white base and then the top just kind of cinches closed. So this little leather strap right here holds the keys. It holds the keys to the little lock I showed you that would essentially go on the zippers. And they're super cute. They're these teeny tiny little keys. But, I mean, I don't intend to use the lock, so it's just on here as decor. I can go ahead and show you guys another look. And something I am contemplating maybe doing is removing the keys. And not having it there, maybe having my LV keychain like you see here, or I have this little luggage tag that I typically use with my Neverfull in the Damier Abim. And it would sit kind of like that. It's a little flatter up against the bag. And I just think this is so cute. It just gives it a different look. I love the luggage tags. I think those are just so adorable and such a simple, easy um, little decor option for your bags. The key holder is really cute too. Um, my friend got me this little poof. It's a Michael Kors poof. But that look like for the holidays, like to take to a holiday party or to take with you just to go out or walk the mall to do some Christmas shopping. It is just so stunning with the gold and the red. And then if you have any shoes that complement it with reds or browns or golds, this bag is pretty versatile. I mean, even up against like pinks, because you also have like Damier bean purses that have the ballerine interior. So up against pinks, so you put a pink poof. But you can see it holds quite a bit. 
I mean, essentially, I can fit a lot more things in here if I didn't have them in pouches or in other, in the other SLGs. But that would be no fun. So I'm going to just clip this back on just to really show you what it would look like if you totally blinged out this little bag. I am so excited that I added this to my collection. I definitely do not regret purchasing this brand new. If this is a bag that you guys are looking to add to your collection, I highly recommend it. Um, but you can find it pre-loved for less. Just kind of weigh out your options. And I hope you guys like this video. Till next time, God bless.